let's look now to the next year and things you, you may have planned. You've got any private members' bills or, or, or just policies you want to pursue as we the clock now runs down to another election, basically. Yeah, well, it's, it's working on those areas that uh, I'm in Treasury now. Um, I'll say continue with Social Security. There's a lot more social welfare reforms you want to, to bring in for the benefit of people. Means uh, testing? Well, that, that's um, on the uh, policy in the, counts in the Cabinet Office, so I think that's going to be reviewed over the next couple of years. Do you like that idea, though? I think it can be a fair idea. People do, um, at least that you know where you are w with that. People can then understand it and know where you are. There'll be some winners and losers, losers but um, mm -hmm. it seems to be a fair approach. And back to the climate change thing, then. It, you know, you've got more ideas ahead this year to Absolutely. push us the, 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 This is going to be a massive year because this, um, the uh, climate change team will be working on um, Are you still on that, blue by the way? Sky strategies. Were well, you on the EV Absolutely, thing and all that? Absolutely, yes. Yes, myself and Jane Pill Wilson are still the right? members on the climate change transformational right. team. Um, and the head of the, the independent lead is Professor James Curran. Yeah. And so we're back to Tim Wold. Um, he will be um, presenting his independent report to Tim Wold in January. 2020. So it's a very, very short timeline to actually get all this work done, which the officers are working on now. Great work they're doing, and they'll actually present that. Who, yeah. Who's going to lead that? I think Tim, or will it be you? Or is Jen, uh, Paul Wilson? Well, I think the, um, it, it, that, that's really a government um, position. Probably the Chief Minister will be leading. Oh, well, right. It literally will, he'll give the report, and the Chief Minister will. I would say the Chief Minister is the mm. ideal person to bring that to, to Tim. Are you a bit skeptical what, how it's going to be, be seen, or diluted down, or? Well, he's the chief minister, and I think you know that most important position, if you like, in Timwald. And, and by all means, I think that such an important issue would be much better being uh, brought to Timwald by the chief minister. I started by saying you were the quiet man last time round. Now you're making much more effort. Uh, no effort, more noise. Goodness me, you're making the effort, but d more publicly. That's that's where we're coming to. The, the, you're seen now to be doing more. Does that suit you better now? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's one of those things you do need to understand uh, what you're doing more. I'm, I'm quite, I con consider things more. You're absolutely right. I don't tend to rush into things too much. Um, but I think it's important for the island to actually get these things right and in the right direction. And that's what, in such an important thing like climate change, is the right thing to do. In the right direction, get everyone facing the right direction, and they can really have a healthier, happier Isle of Man to live in. Are you still enjoying yourself? I am actually enjoying myself, and the Treasury, I believe, is the place to be. So I'm really it could be some very that. different yeah, responses. Yeah, it's true. It's you, true. you seem to have changed quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Do, you, do yeah. you feel you've changed? Uh, perhaps, yeah. I suppose once, once you... I've come from 25 years in the private sector running my own business, so, you know, there's a lot to actually make some changes in. So, yeah, three years into this uh, Treasury role now, it feels like I'm actually really enjoying it and actually can, can actually contribute and bring something to it. How frustrated are you that you haven't yet seen the chance to take your own department? That's not on my agenda, it really isn't. Um, I'm ha really delighted to be supporting the Treasury Minister at the moment. I think that the Treasury is where the action is, that's where the, the, the national direction can sort of come from, so I'm really delighted to be part of that. But we talk about walking through treacle and every time, you know, you have come from the private sector, mm. you're now mm. trying to push things through. You, mm. you can't tell me it's been, you know, just a wonderful walk in the park. Uh, no, it hasn't, and um, you know it's it's not it's not easy. But it's a, I believe deep down it's about changing that culture, and that's what's really important to me. It's about trying to change that culture so we can actually see the opportunities. If you get into the, the habit of of overlooking opportunities, then you don't see them anymore. Private sector, you're always looking at those opportunities. Some of them will fail. We agree with that. But then on the majority of things, you'll actually start moving forward. When you stop looking for opportunities and, and, and really move away from that, that risk, then um, the opportunities dry up. What's your biggest disappointment in the last year? Have, a, have you had one thing that you've failed on or, or you could have done better or whatever? No, or? I mean, it was disappointing that it took so long to get some movement, some genuine movement on climate change. That's outside your control, right? Well, yes, but it's, it's, I suppose it's in my gift to try and put as much influence and pressure as I can on and that's what I've been happy to do so disappointed it took so long but absolutely delighted where we are three years where we you know we could have done better absolutely but that's why I picked it up and that's why I kept on at it and I'm absolutely delighted now that we're actually moving as fast as we can. Too early to call it for the next general election yet you know two years away are you making there's a lot more to do in two years you're absolutely right so we definitely want to see some I want to see some more um, movement on that. Do absolutely. you want to stand? 
I'm actually enjoying it at the moment, and I'm not going to answer that. I think we've got you know a lot more to to do on that. So that's not a yes or a no. It's not a yes or a no. Okay, I'm uh, enjoying it, and I've really got more to offer. So I'm really. How, how did it go on with uh, your co uh, Douglas North MHK, Mr. Excellent. Very still, still very supportive of David, Minister. Ashford, on, he, you know, they're, they're, that's true. There's that big department taking all that money, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're coming to you wanting to top it up as up to now. But he, he you can't tell me that's not. No, no, he's been very supportive of mm. the change, and that's what absolutely myself and other Treasury members are happy to see that. As you know, Treasury Minister is one of the, the, the three ministers on that, um, Sir Jonathan Michael's uh, team, if you like, the, the change team. So that's Treasury, Cabinet Office and um, Department of Health and Social Care. And absolutely, I think, um, I think now we, we're, we're moving away from that, the old idea of having to um, try and pull... The Minister Down is a difficult department. Mm -hmm. I, I was happy enough to spend 50 months in there, really enjoyed my uh, position there as Member for Health, working at the, uh, the acute services. And so I've got a bit of an insight that perhaps other members haven't got, and that's why I'm absolutely delighted to uh, support them as much as possible. Over the last few months, Tybalt has definitely got more edgy, let's put it that way. There's a bit more angst in there. Do you think it's working well right? Uh, yeah, that's, that's perhaps a, a, a good thing. You know, um, you think you do need to get... Uh, consensus but you do need to have that debate if you have that debate if you have that personal uh, involvement then you can really feel then as though you've got some consensus at the end of it so I think that's important okay. and probably will carry on so I'm, I'm looking forward to the next two years okay rate yourself then out of, out of 10 for the last 12 seven. months okay so we, we went six seven seven so you're holding yeah, at seven yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was, you just threw it on out well, no it's true yeah. seven, I'm seven's very safe isn't it yeah uh, no, it shows uh, direction, <laughs> and um, um, I'll be looking forward to do, give myself an eight next year. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you know the other one for government as a whole, if if it's in you know out of ten, which is, I know is is quite hard, but as a general thought in your head, out of ten, what would you give the government? Yeah, I think now it, it's starting to to realise it's got to tackle the, the the bigger issues. So I'm absolutely delighted. In the last few months, there's been you know some some big things they've had to. To, to look at themselves and, and do that. So at the moment, I would say it was an aid for the government, to be honest. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll see you next year. That's right.